So for Zach moving forward and where his goals are with the tournaments he wants to play in, and when you get at that competitive level, you have to understand what the priorities are, right? The differences between people who are that good are very, very, very small. Relative to the differences of someone who shoots 100 to someone who shoots 80, the differences are, are large. Okay, so to compete at that level and play in the tournaments he wants to play in or someone at that competitive level, you have to have little things. There's the little tiny things that add up um, over the course of a day or a week or a year that you win a tournament or you don't. A lot of variables involved with that. What if this process could work more like this for you? Here, here, let's, let's state more facts. What, what doesn't work for you and I together in this coach-player relationship? I don't know. Looking at video and tweaking mechanics week to week to try and fit a picture. Has that worked in the past year for us? Nope. Not at all. Agreed? Yep. So we got to do something different if we want different results. <laughs> yeah. What if our practice sessions were I give you feedback like this and we focus on ball control and we let you athletically put the pieces together. I don't think you would care that much if you get steep in transition so long as you hit it good. Yeah. I think when you start to like lose it is when you, you see a bad picture and you're hitting it bad. Yeah. Is when it starts to go bad. But if you hit it pretty good and you control your pattern all the time, then it's Relevant. not that big of a deal, mm -hmm. right? There are guys in the PGA Tour who have won multiple times who look like you in transition. Really? How many wins does Nicholson have? 40-something? Yeah, okay, so what do you mean? Uh, he's a lefty. Don't yeah, count. Stadler. Both Stadlers. Same thing. Start left, curve right. Don't care how you do it yet. That was thin. Started left, curved right. Beautiful. One more. Start left, curve right. Fat. That was bad. Okay. Steepy. Now, that's just tilty. Now, let's go back in there again. Same thing. And let's go through some different ways you can do this. So, how, what, how do you shift your swing direction more to the left? What are you feeling to do that? Just swing left. Just swing left, pass impact? Yeah. Okay. And then the open club face, there's like a million ways to do that. Like I'm cupping it, coming down. Okay. Essentially what I would want the... is, yeah, you have to do something along the lines of like your left elbow or arm, like this, would have to stay more internally rotated. Or your left elbow has to stay at the target longer like this. So it's like that more. More like that, yeah. yeah. Like left elbow, like Jamie Sadlowski. Left elbow kind of like bent at the target like this. Keeps the face from uh, rolling over. Like that? Yep. Like have this, have this pointed at the target as long as you can. Like Speed. Like Speed. Yeah, very good. Like Speed Jr. Speed. Drew. Speedy. <laughs> and Drew. How about the target forever? Internally rotate with that shoulder. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Started left, curved right, hit it inside a foot. I thought for sure that thing was going down. Yeah, it was pretty close. Started just left, but left enough. Same thing. Keep that left shoulder and arm internal up with the target. Yep. Started left, curved right. Beautiful. Do you get how that works? Mm -hmm. Enough that it makes sense for you like yeah. do? It's just like I'm punching out and I need to drink. Yeah. The opposite of that, if my arm rotated a lot, would be what? I know I flip it. Rolling like it over. Yeah. That would close the face, right? Mm -hmm. So if I did the opposite and kept it internal, face open. Yeah, like sometimes when I come all the way up to the top, my club face is like that. And I didn't even move my grip. Yeah. It's that twist. Yeah. It's that athlete. Good club face control. Amen. <laughs> That's it. Cool. Started left, curved right. Beautiful.